The gentleman from Henry, Mr. Armstrong. Rise for appointed personal privilege, Mr. Speaker. The gentleman may proceed. Mr. Speaker, I listened intently to my good friend from Colonial Heights, and what I gathered from his speech is proof of a time-worn phrase that's been with us for centuries since governments began, particularly dating back to the Roman Empire. If you don't like the message, shoot the messenger. Mr. Speaker, in my 17 years being in this body, JLARC has been fiercely independent. It has transcended the comings and goings of political parties, of individual members, of committee chairmen, and the like. And they have always endeavored, in my experience, to try to provide us with data and information. Now, I know not of how the Senate arranged to have the presentation. My guess is they asked and that if any member of this body, just like we deal with the Division of Legislative Services or anyone else, wants to be briefed on anything, they can do so. Mr. Speaker, there's a troubling rumor floating about to the halls of the General Assembly that as a result of this, there's going to be a house cleaning at JLARC, that possibly even in the final version of the budget, there may be some attempt to get at them through defunding. I hope that is just what it is, Mr. Speaker, an unfounded rumor. This body has to operate with support services even when the message that they send is not well received. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.